Hey there, folks. <clears throat> Pluskin by 51 millimeter. And today, I'm out at the church farm. Uh, four family get together, mostly. Well, that's what it is. I'll just go ahead and reiterate. So, I don't have no firearms with me today, sadly because my aunt and uncle would not uh, be too uh, keen on that even though they are pro-gun but they they uh, you know we're here for family time not not pow pow time <sighs> we just got done eating lunch it is currently right now going by military time 1407 in the afternoon or 207 if you will and I managed to get away figured I'd do a vlog you know cuz why not and I am coming up on the old cabin up here yep here's the old cabin that you've seen us shoot repeatedly see how much it's grown up since the last time we was out here unreal <clears throat> honestly don't know if we'd be able to come out and shoot it during the summer months because of how bad it gets grown up I mean see here's the door <laughs> or where the door used to be rather I got a bottle of water so if you hear that that's what that is Man, it looks like it's about to cave in or bust out more. See, last time I was out here, see, there's the doorknob that we was shooting. Last time we was out here, we had the AR-15, and it was my, well, shooting at the old cabin, you know, not shooting 200 yards. Um, we had the DPMS Oracle, and it was me, my sister, and her friend. My friend too and we was shooting into the old cabin that was back in like March or April or something I think it was April it wasn't this bad grown up as you all can see yeah so the old uh, the old cabin gets grown up pretty bad yeah, as you can see and you know since it's caved in and you couldn't really do nothing with this place anymore uh, there's no point clearing out brush around it, so it is what it is. I mean, we might be able to still come out here and shoot it, um, but I'd honestly hate to go anywhere around it or in it because there's probably hornets and waspers in there. Because they used to like to uh, make a home in the glass doors in the back end of it. So let's go walk on around behind it and around back here I hear a lot of things humming and buzzing around me that's tick heaven right through there I sprayed DEET all over my boots and uh, bug repellent all over my boots and stuff. See, there's a good shot of the roof that has caved in, caved in so you can still see the singles in there. Yep, we'll get back out here and shoot it again sometime, eventually. No, that wasn't like that last time I was out here. There's more. The tree fell down. Probably during that night of the big, almost tornado. Let's go walking some more. Further on back down in here. 
make this a woods walk video. Now I have planned or thought in my head that I could uh, come out here and get one of them folding tables in the cold months and set targets and gongs up there on that adjacent hillside back through there and sit from right here and shoot them. Might do that with Change and Sparrow sometime. That'd be fun. Yeah, see there's another path that goes up back here behind it. Mm, there's been some vehicles drive up through here. That tree totally busted right there. I hear a squirrel. They may have been doing some woodwork back here. Nobody comes down this whole path anymore. I hear the squirrel. He's up there somewhere. See, this is the time where shotguns would come in handy for shooting squirrels. Because it could... I mean, 22s, yeah, you could get back and snipe them with 22s out of trees. I've done it before. But right here is where that nitro hunter would come in handy. Because see all this brush and stuff? It makes seeing them with a 22 hard, and sniping them would be hard. Getting a good shot on would be hard, and the old shotgun, it would just take all these leaves and limbs and stuff and just go right up through them like a wrecking ball and hit the squirrel. He hears me talking, he shut up. Might hear him start squacking here in a minute, freaking out. Who the hell are you and what are you doing in my territory? Oh man, big old tree not fell down. That was recent. That was during the big thunderstorm there. That is new. That wasn't down back back when we was coming out here shooting the old cabin like in January and March. I better be careful. There could be a big wasp nest somewhere on the ground with all these trees down. See, there's another tree down back in there. This really wasn't the place to have been during that storm. Yeah, big old tree down. Funny story. Uh, in regards to wasp nests and stuff uh, My grandpa and my dad were out here hunting. I see some deer sign there uh, They were out here hunting one one year and there's an old hollowed out tree tr trunk Across the path or something and it was hollowed out and rotten, but they didn't know that And my grandpa sat down on it and it had a big old wasper nest in it and when he sat down in it, them, my dad said them sons of bitches came scattering out of there like bats out of hell. And my dad took off running. He said he ran from here to Walmart down the hill and managed to get away with only three stings on his knuckle. My grandpa, sadly, he was back there beating them off with his, according to my dad, uh, he beating them off with his hat and, you know, Back there, like Leonidas fighting 
the Persians as he's coming up <laughs> up the hillside <laughs> and uh, he got stung up pretty bad yeah see like it would a tree trunk like that now that's a solid one but if it was rotted there could be a wasp nest in it and you wouldn't want to go kicking on it and stepping on it you might might end up with more than what you bargained for there's another one there's been a lot of activity back here wow look at this another one down Ooh. <laughs> yep that one got uprooted yeah oh storms so there's one that got split off and fell over them old storms you wouldn't want to be down here in like a storm that came through that other night because one of these outfits could fall on you there's a bunch of old dead trees all out through this place and the the ones who had had enough are the ones that fell down so yeah it's some some dangerous ass shit you don't want no part of it well I'm gonna take a drink of water and we're going to head on out of here all right here's the old cabin this is gonna be a pretty decent sized video I got a new memory card the memory card I got is called like I think a PNY or something I took a picture of it on one of my other cards I'll put it in yeah um has a hundred and twenty eight gigabytes of data and that impressed me because when I put it in my camera the other night and uh, turned my camera on it said I had over 29 hours of filming data bugs are procrastinating me um, Hopefully I didn't walk through poison ivy or this might be my last video. <laughs> Next video you see of me, I'm in the hospital all looking like a mummy. But in the past, I've gotten uh, memory cards and they only let you film, like the max total data they have is like one hour of filming. So when I seen 29 hours worth of filming on just one card, that impressed the hell out of me and I and I, it was only $21 at Walmart so that's almost literally a freaking steal so I was pleased to see such such things come to light because that means I'll be using this card for at least in a year or two unless of course I get get lazy and start uploading a lot of really long videos instead of conserving data all right we made it out of the woods and here is the cornfield my uncle has corn planted in it corn or beans i can't remember what and up there by that tree is where we shoot down here to 200 yards and we set the target right there on that bend so you guys all know where we're at now basically that's how convenient things are I better watch out right here there's sinkholes right along up and through here now I'm back on gravel yep so anyway I figured I'd do this uh, you know, woods walk video, I ain't done one in a while. Um, sadly, I wasn't able to shoot nothing. We weren't able to bring no guns. That sucks, but, you know, I got to walk out and get some fresh air. And, you know, see the woods. 
Now I gotta go back and check, make sure I ain't got ticks on me. Because if I do, that'll be fun. I think I see my uncle coming up or something. I don't know what he's wanting. Anyway, that's been Pluskin by 51mm. And I'll see you all in the next video.